Hello everyone! Welcome to Provisual Tutorials, and in this video, we will delve into how to add a design to a 3D model. For this purpose, we have chosen a fairly simple box. Well, let's get started. To add a design, you can click on the Add Design icon on the Design Layers panel. You can download the UV map by clicking on this icon. We can also add a design by clicking the Add Design button. I've already prepared images with the required designs. Let's add one of these designs to the top part of our box. In the opened editing window, we can position and customize our images. Let's position our design on the top part of the box. It's very convenient that the position of our design is displayed in real time on the 3D model. To place your design perfectly on the object, you can rotate and scale it. Let's make some slight changes to the position of our image and see how it looks on our 3D model. Okay, our design is well placed and looks great. I think this is it. All right, let's add the next design element. To do this, click on the Add Image icon on the top toolbar and select the image. Let's position our image on top, in the bottom left corner. Let's slightly increase its size and move it. Let's add one more image. Let's move our ghost to the center of the box, slightly above the logo. Let's enlarge it a bit and move it. Perfect. Let's continue creating the design for our box. Let's add a banana sticker to our box. Let's position it in the top right corner of our packaging. We'll edit the size of our sticker. Let's move it. All right, now let's see how our design looks on our model. Let's try making our image non-transparent. Now let's add the image to the backside of our model. Okay. Now let's place our image to right spot, following the UV map. Let's move it slightly. Okay, let's reduce the size of the image. We need the text on our picture to be centered perfectly. Just a little more. Like this. And a bit more, we need everything to be perfect. Great. Now let's add another image to the front side of the box. Let's place our image according to the UV map and make it a little bit smaller. As we can see in the 3D model window, our image is not aligned perfectly. Let's fix that. Great. Let's take a look at our box from different angles.
All right, let's save our design and see what we have accomplished. This is how the intermediate design of our box looks like. Let's continue. Now let's add text to the side panels of our box. Let's go back to the editor and place our image with text on the UV map. Let's align our text to the center and make it smaller. Okay, now let's add a second text to the other side of the box. Just like the first text, let's place it in the center and make it smaller. All right, let's make our box design more intricate and add a few more images. Let's find an image of a watermelon and place it below the text. Okay, now we need to rotate our image and position it on the UV map. We can rotate the image by hovering the cursor over the corners or enter precise values on the Design Elements panel. Let's place our image below the text. Great. Now let's see how it looks in the 3D model window. Let's save our design and go back to the editor by clicking on the thumbnail image on the design layers panel. On the design elements panel, you can change the position of the layer in relation to others. Let's add a sticker that features an orange to the front side of our box. I will zoom in on the UV map to make it easier for us to add another image. Excellent. Let's continue. And now let's add a Kiwi image to the backside. Let's rotate our image and place it below the text. I think we need to move the image slightly in relation to the text. Perfect. All right, I will save our changes. Let's take a look at our design. Let's have a closer look at the features on the bottom panel. Here, you can enable or disable object's shadow. You can zoom in or out on the object using either keyboard shortcuts or by clicking on the minus or plus icons. You can also enable auto-rotation of the object 
set the rotation direction, and adjust its speed. Great, we're almost done with the design of our box. We just need to add a background. Let's see what types of backgrounds we have available. We can choose a solid color fill as the background. Or we can choose a gradient fill. We can select the desired colors and also choose the fill direction, either linear or radial. You can also choose from the pre-designed backgrounds that we have prepared for you. We will choose an image fill that we can upload ourselves. Let's do it. Great, our image is uploaded, our model is ready, and now we can take a look at our complete design from all angles. After you have completed your design, by clicking on the share button, you can share it with colleagues, friends, or your clients. That wraps up our lesson on creating designs. We hope it has been helpful to you. See you in the upcoming lessons.